You're listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast, where our mission is to make you more money so you'll have less stress and more free time. It's all about mindset, attitude, and taking action. And your host, Wayne Weathersby, knows how to make that happen. He's negotiated and closed over $150 million in contracts while building businesses with proven success strategies that he wants to share with you. So if you're ready to make some real money, then let's get to it. Here's Coach Wayne. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Productive Not Busy Podcast with me, Wayne Weathersby. Today, we are talking about greater success. Why don't we try positive action instead of positive thinking? We've all heard that positive thinking can boost your odds of becoming successful. While positive thinking helps, Research shows that simple actions can have a greater impact on behavior and the results. See, most people think that it takes a lot of work and effort to get meaningful results, but sometimes simple actions are the key. Scientific research has shown that these 10 exercises have freaking positive, amazing effect. So we're going to cover those right now. Are you ready? Number one, do things in a new way. If you're trying to quit smoking, try smoking with the opposite hand. It makes the behavior seem unusual and uncomfortable, and you'll be less likely to smoke. We all, we, all of us, whatever our vice is, we often do it automatically. So doing it differently will force you to think about it which then turns around and brings the trying to quit thing back to the top. Number two, nod in agreement. If someone nods while communicating, they're more likely to agree with what's being said. It's proven. If you want someone to agree with you, suddenly nod your head while chatting with them. I promise they will subconsciously and unconsciously start to do the same thing. This will result in a greater likelihood of agreeing with your subject or your point. Number three, act happy. That's a hard one for some people. The simple act of making things better, right? Smiling makes you feel happier. Studies have suggested that smiling big, using your whole face, including your forehead, and making it last for about 20 seconds, will ensure your smile makes an impact. I know this stuff sounds simple and goofy, but it's science. Number four, act sternly. Those that sit up straight and cross their arms have been shown to preserve or persevere twice as much as those who sat in other ways. Try this technique if you want to be persistent. Number five, wash up. The recent study found that washing your hands, taking a bath, or showering can reduce the feelings of guilt. Even cleaning the hands with an antiseptic after committing an an immoral act significantly reduces guilty feelings. Imagine that. Number six, soft chairs for soft people. If you have to negotiate with others, arrange for them to sit in a soft chair. Studies have shown that firm chairs result in tougher negotiations. A soft chair makes people more flexible. Number seven, just begin. Take action. Spending a few minutes on the activity you're avoiding can often stop the procrastination. Just get started. Really, it's the hardest part. Once you get started, usually smooths out pretty quick. Number eight, be emotionally intimate. Couples that are close are more likely to talk about the intimate aspects of life. The opposite is also true. When two people have an intimate conversation, they feel more attracted to each other. 
If you're on a date, steer the conversation towards more meaningful topics. See how that goes. Number nine, flex your muscles. One study discovered that testing your muscles, tensing them up, increases your willpower. If you're struggling to quit smoking or stick to a diet, the solution is easier than you think. Make a fix like this. You'd make a fist and flex your biceps. If you're around others, flex your leg muscles. I'm telling you, if you exercise, it makes a huge difference. Number 10, act confident. You've seen the cliche power pose of CEOs with them leaning back with the outstretched legs and looking up with their hands behind their head. If you're standing, put both feet flat on the floor, chest out, shoulders back. Play the part. If you act confident on the outside, you'll feel more confident on the inside. These ideas are from all over the place. A bunch of university researches that I came across. So there's some science behind them. Try them and see what they do for you. See what kind of impact they have on your life. While positive thinking is great, sometimes positive actions are even more powerful. We talk about that all the time. Take action, get started. Thinking and analysis into paralysis will kill you. Take the step, get started. With a smile on your face, it's all good. Let's be productive. Let's make money. Let's have more free time. And let's have less stress. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Be safe, take care, sell a bunch, and say something nice to somebody. You've been listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast with Coach Wayne. Join us next time for more money-making strategies to help you have less stress and more free time. Follow us on Facebook at Productive Not Busy, on Instagram at Frontline.Coach.Wayne, and on Twitter at Wayne New Jr. And remember, be productive, not busy.